Yeah, first I'm going to go make some food because I was starving last time. I'm probably super starving now, like superhero starving. Yeah. All right, gotta get some foods, some foodums. Okay, sir, I need food. Meat do you want? Bye. I'm gonna take this lamb. Okay, only got so much to put. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be enough to get my apartment back yet. Let me see. Okay. No. Nope. Deposit. Accepted. Yep, almost there. Not quite there yet. Okay, exit. Now I gotta go cook some food. Well, I think we did a little bit, but we'll find out more when my character wakes up. Ah, yes. All right, I can probably cook some food on the fire. Yes, that would probably be a really good idea. Okay, let's see. Get the crab cooking. Crab cakes, woo! Yep, and now, what else can I cook? Uh, crab cakes and this lamb. Nice meat. Yes. Now, now I, I don't need to cook nothing else. So, exit. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to eat items. Oh, what am I doing? I did. I did. Well, it could have been worse, but that's all I could afford to eat. So, that's that. Alright, so... Let's head to sleep and see what's going on in the hospital. Do-do, do-do, do-do. Sleep on this ratty old mattress again. This alley is, is pretty shitty. Should I sleep? Yeah, go to sleep. You don't have a choice. Might as well. Okay. There we go. Completed a journal page. Well, this looks like my bed for the night. Yep. That's right. Okay. Now it's daytime. Beep beep. Rockstar, where the hell are you? Viper OD'd. Hospital. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. I can only move so fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Going to the hospital. I'm going. Can't even sleep no more around here. Hospital. All right. Welcome to Dubstown General. Yes, welcome me. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Alicia, I don't know what to do. Viper, she's, oh God, she's, are you okay? What happened? I've been trying hard, so hard to get clean these days. It's caused me to think about a lot of things. Some of it, it's still hard to understand and even more of it, it's hard to swallow. But I realized that I couldn't be with Viper and stay clean. With her in my life, there would be 
amazing highs, but we'd both burn out so fast. We'd barely, we barely live an instant compared to what I could without her. I want to do great things, Alicia. This stuff I'm playing now, it's just a sample of what I know I can be. But that'll never happen with Viper strangling me. Jesus, you told her all that? I had to. And I knew this was a possibility. If it had been me instead of her, I know I'd be right he where she was trying to fix my sad, pathetic heart with as much junk as my veins can hold. But it was the right thing for me. At least I thought it was. You're not guilty of anything, you know. She did this to herself. You don't have any responsibility. Why the hell are you beating yourself up over something you can't control? Because I'm a fucking addict too. We're supposed... We're opposite ends of, of a seesaw. And if one doesn't go down, then the other can never go up. Today she pays and tomorrow I will because that's the way it goes. There is no balancing this shit. We just take turns feeling sorry for, for the other. Sorry. Look, I'm sorry. Can I see her? Ooh, she's not looking so good. Yep. So, who's paying for all this? I know you don't have any money, so I don't know how she can afford to stay here. The label's helping me, <clears throat> helping out a lot, probably because they're worried the story will get leaked if she's not taken care of. Since I told them I wasn't going to do the rest of the tour, though, they kind of closed the coin purse. It wouldn't be a problem if this fucking doctor had a heart, though. What are you talking about? The doctor, looking after Viper. He is an expert, the absolute best you can get in this, this city. He's got the means to help fix her, but he, he demands all this money for his work. I get... I get that he is talented and invested a lot to be who he ugh, who he is, but that doesn't mean shit when people's lives are on the line. I swear. Sorry, itchy guys. I saw them kick an old lady out of here the other day because her dead husband's military pension didn't cover her prescriptions. It's disgusting. Have you talked to the guy? Maybe he's not as heartless as you think. Ask him to do some work. Pro, bo pro owner? Pro bono? Yeah, why not? The least you can do is ask. I'm sure he'll listen at least. Shit, see? I'm not. I'm no good with these things. Come on, you've got to help me out. Go talk to him for me and work for work your magic. Bet your eyelashes and blow kisses, blow him kisses. It'll work for sure. I don't know about that, but I guess I could talk to him sometime. Where would I find him? He's a stickler for a routine. Every morning he gets a coffee at the Krusty Cream. He ducks out early every afternoon to go see a movie at the Sunny Megaplex. And after hours, he probably at Empire Pub, congratulating himself. I wrote it all down for you. Take this. Darkif <clears throat> gave you a list of locations. I'll be hanging around here pretty much all the time. Go talk to him and let me know what he says, okay? Well, there's no harm in trying. I 
All right, guys. We just sliced up a bunch of pigs. We didn't make our numbers. But I'm going to end this episode right here for you guys. And we'll see if I can talk to the doctor next time around, right? So, let me save the game, of course. Of course, of course, of course. A horse, of course. Okay. Save. All right. And then we quit. Return to title screen. So, if you liked this video, please like, subscribe, uh, put a put a like on there, or put a dislike if you didn't like it. Uh, and always remember to press that bell icon so you know when content is coming out. All right. Well, uh, I'll see you bros in the next one. Peace out, bros. Bye-bye.